Hi, this is Ben from Memberium. In this video, I'm going to show you Memberium's integration with BuddyBoss or BBPress and BuddyPress. BuddyBoss is a combination of BBPress and BuddyPress uh, with lots of enhancements, but the integration works the same whether you're using BuddyBoss or the two separate plugins. Uh, in this video, you'll see how to set up private forums protected by Memberium, how to set up exclusive groups using BuddyBoss or uh, BuddyPress, and then those will automatically add members based on their Infusionsoft tags. And lastly, you'll see how to sync the profile fields that BuddyBoss and BuddyPress offer back to Infusionsoft so that all the data is synchronized. First things first, I'm going to show you how to sync BuddyPress or BuddyBoss profile fields to Infusionsoft. This means that when users update certain fields on their profiles, this will sync it back to Infusionsoft and if it gets updated in Infusionsoft, it will reflect the changes here. So by default, if you're using BuddyBoss, which is a drop-in replacement for BuddyPress with tons of enhancements, then you can simply uh, come over here to the Profiles tab. That's over under on BuddyBoss Profiles. And we'll see our fields that we have for each profile. Now some of these are set up here by default, and you can add different ones. And anything that you add under this base uh, field set is going to be required during sign-up. So I recommend you hit the new field set right here. Under the new field set, um, I'm going to name mine additional info, but it can be named whatever you want. And then I'm going to press the save button. That's all I'm going to add here. So now that I have the additional info, I'm going to press add new field under this tab right here. And I'm just going to be very basic here and just type in custom field uh, just as a test, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to press save. Now you can do different options in here, such as the uh, make it required, change certain visibility, th those sort of things. I'm going to leave it as is for now. And in order to actually get this field to sync back to Infusionsoft, let me go into Infusionsoft and just show you where I want it to sync. So I've pulled up a uh, record here, which I'm uh, going to use for testing this, uh, demonstrating it. And I'm going to sync it to this custom field called custom field test. So if we come back over here uh, into WordPress, I'm going to go to Memberium settings, and we need to turn on something that's going to enable the sync. Go to the performance tab under Memberium settings and switch on sync meta updates. Press update after you've turned that to yes. And then come over here to the sync options tab under Memberium. Once you're here, you're going to press the buddy press fields. Even if you're using buddy boss, it's okay. You're still going to set this up right here. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to my custom field test custom field. So on the left here are all of my uh, Infusionsoft fields. And this includes all of them here. Custom fields are listed at the bottom. And then each one has a drop down and you can sync this to a buddy boss or buddy press field. So in this case, I'm going to select that one that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and press save now, just like that. And now I'm going to come back over here to where I'm logged in as that user that I pulled up. I'm going to go ahead and press the edit button now. And we're going to see that new tab is going to pop up. So additional info. So I can click that just like so. And I can now add some info in. And once I've press the save button now that is going to be put into Infusionsoft. So if I come over to Infusionsoft and refresh the page to reload the contact here and I pull open that custom field one more time we're going to see that that data has been added right there. Now if I did actually change this data uh, it would be reflected back to the user once the contact has been updated. So once a contact update HTTP post has been run or once the user logs out and logs back in. Now there's a lot of use cases for this, but primarily you'll also want to set up the syncing for the uh, first name and the last name, so the name and the last name, and potentially even the nickname if you'd like. Uh, with the date here, this could be set to the birth date, so you could sync that back to Infusionsoft dates fields. Those work too. Uh, so this essentially just allows you to connect the BuddyPress or BuddyBoss profile fields to Infusionsoft so that all the data is synced and it is the same. But now let me actually show you how to link BuddyBoss groups to Infusionsoft. Now the way that this integration works is once you have a group inside of BuddyBoss or BuddyPress set up, it is compatible with BuddyPress too, uh, you will be able to control who has access to this group based on tags and you'll actually automatically join them into the group. 
so I have my group pulled up here and if I scroll down to the very bottom you can see that I have this integration box buddy press groups from Imbarium and I have four options auto join is admin moderator member and then the auto ban tag uh, as well and what you can do is in each of these you can put in one or multiple tags and any member who has those tags will be joined into the group automatically and they'll be joined at the role for whichever tag that they have so for example in this case I only have one set up here and that is to auto join anybody that has the gold membership tag I want them to join this group as a member now this auto join happens during login so whenever the user logs in they'll be automatically joined so if you set this up and press update up here or save changes and you don't see all your members come in immediately give it some time what's happening is they need to log in before they're going to be joined in as members Okay, so to show you how this works, I have actually set up a contact here who doesn't have this tag. So I need to go ahead and give them the gold membership tag. Okay, so I found my tag right here, gold membership, and I've applied that to the user so they now have this tag. And just to show you, I'm logged in as a user right now, and I'm on their BuddyPress profile page. And as you can see, they are not in any groups yet. All right, so what I'm going to do to trigger this is simply log out, and then I'm going to log back in as the member. Okay, so I'm logging back in right now, and now I have re-accessed my groups page, and as you can see, I'm now part of the VIP gold members group, just as I should be. So that's all you have to do to set up this integration. So if you want to take advantage of this and automatically join these members in, you can certainly do that. Now, again, you can also auto join people as admins or moderators. I recommend that you use that with caution just because, you know, they have more power inside of the groups and control over the group. So you'll want to be careful with those. Uh, however, this opens up huge potential and huge automation capabilities because without this, an admin or moderator would need to actually approve every request to join the group and that just takes up a bunch of time so uh, the also another great thing is that if they lose this tag uh, for example maybe they cancel their membership or something happens uh, or their payment fails you can remove them from the group so if they lose the tag then they'll be removed from the group automatically so it saves a ton of time so you can use this again just to build communities inside of your membership site that's going to improve your member engagement and keep people coming back to your site regularly to check in on the groups that they're a part of but now let me show you the last part of this integration and that is how you can protect your buddy boss or bb press forums with membarium for infusionsoft this protection is going to allow you to use membarium's content protection box just to protect the form so that it's not publicly accessible and you control who has access to the form based on tags in infusionsoft so this is what the form looks like on the front end. Now I'm not using the Buddy Boss theme, I'm using the WP Astro theme. If you're using the Buddy Boss theme, this form will look a lot better. So I recommend that you check into that. However, the form is publicly accessible. I'm not logged into my site and uh, you can see that I'm able to access the entirety of this form. So here's the form on the back end here. I have it up. It's called the gold form. and I just have some basic content in here. Now, if you're not seeing forms inside of the Buddy Boss, I just want to point out that you need to come to the components tab right up here at the top. And then you need to enable the forum discussions. You can just activate that. It's not activated necessarily by default. Okay, so once you have your form set up, uh, you can, of course, do different things in here. Uh, but the main focus of this video is how you actually protect this, and that is through the content protection box right here. So, for example, if I protect this with the demo membership one, and I will go ahead and update that. Update button is down here. This form is now immediately protected. So if I now, in this browser where I'm not logged in, refresh, you'll see it's telling me that the page is not found. Uh, that's because it's redirecting me to the members only page and I don't have that set up on my site just yet. However, we could redirect them to the login page or to wherever we would like. So we could redirect them over here to the login page. And so now if I try to access it, uh, it's going to take me to my login page right here, the Membarium provided login page. Perfect. One other thing I want to show you here is that if you uh, do have access to it, for example, uh, I'm signed in to a member who has that membership then they should actually have access to that uh, forum. So let me go ahead and access the URL. And as you can see, the form is pulled up here. I have access because I'm signed in and I do have that demo membership one. So if I don't have the demo membership one, I won't be able to access it. If I do, then 
it's going to give me access and you can control the redirect as well by just down here where it says the redirect you can control it entirely and you can also do more advanced content protection you could say any logged in user uh, only for logged out users I'm not sure why you would do that option but most likely any logged in user is what you would choose there you can do multiple memberships and the member will need to have one of the memberships that you check so if we did one two and three here they would need just a single membership there you can also protect it with tags contact IDs if you want to have a very you know exclusive form just for like five or ten users you could just put in there infusionsoft contact IDs that's an option uh, or you can require tags like I mentioned so with that being said that is how you set up the private forms feature using Memberium and Buddy Boss. and we've actually covered all three parts of the integration which is the private forms which we just looked at exclusive groups and how you can auto join members to those groups and of course profile syncing between the Buddy Boss and BuddyPress profiles and Infusionsoft so if you have any questions look at the documentation below the video here we have links to our detailed documentation or our written documentation is included and if you're still stuck or you still have questions, contact our support team by going to membarium.com forward slash support. Thanks for being the best part of Membarium, and I'll see you in the next video.